So I'm looking at the overworld map here, and now that I look at it, it kind of does. I mean, it has like three of them, but it kind of does look like a belly button. The real question is, well, when we land there... Actually, no, it's not a question at all, because it's a cave. Of course it's going to be, well, it'll show it. Dark. The forest navel has one of my favorite themes in the entirety of Pikmin. Right next to the stage select menu screen, uh, the stage select theme from Pikmin 2. It's a very good theme, I love it. It's only been four episodes and we're already in the forest navel, which is amazing. There are a total of, well, I don't want to spoil it too much, but there are a total of four areas in the game. Meaning we've started our I am the bread half goblin. The I bread am goblin. The goblin. You. Come here, you. I'm gonna punch you in the. I'm gonna punch you right where it hurts. Get back here, you coward. I am the bread goblin. Face I me like a man. Bread goblin. Ow. I am not the bread you goblin. You win this day, bread goblin, but I'll be back. I'll be back and I'll have. I'll have means to take care of you. You greedy little miser. The bread goblin is my arch nemesis. I hate him. More commonly known as the bread bug, the bread goblin will steal your pellets and kill your Pikmin. Not intentionally, of course, but if your Pikmin are latched onto something he's carrying back to his nest, they will be killed and lost to the void. Ah, Dimitri, good to see you. I have named you Dimitri preemptively. That's your name now. It is a Pikmin of yet another color. Near this one's cheeks, it is what appears to be a set of gills. This is a trait that suggests to me that blue types of Pikmin can enter the water without any trouble whatsoever. There's only one way to find out. Yeah. Look, he's in water. We did it. Surely this is, a uh... <laughs> No. Sur surely, um... I don't know. I can't come up with anything. I'm, I'm going blank. I Pick that up. No, you do not, bread goblin. Get your butt off of that. He just dived in and stole it from us. You turd. All right, bread goblin, you've won this day. Give me that. I want it. Give it to me. Give me my thing. It is mine. You jerk. Fine, you can have it. But I'll be back. I will. Hey, look, a ship part. Well, that should help us keep above par. Let's see. Dimitri got another what? Uh, another pellet in the in the onion. I think we can bait the bread goblin. This is gonna be a perfect plan, boys. I'm gonna need all of your help. When the bread goblin returns, we grab him and we fight. Uh, you guys stay here. I gotta go check on the other reds. I'm gonna go ahead and get them working on, um... Wait, what? He just left it! Red goblin? Oh, he's zooming! He's zooming! I he's coming! Bread goblin. That bread goblin has a mission. Ah. Uh, With the other one. I wanted to bait him. I wanted to debate him, but I guess that's not the case. Is this already activated? Can I go up? Yeah. Eh, it's a little slower than just walking up. I mean, there was a way to walk up there. Um, we're gonna go down this way. Hey! Hey! We're not looking for nectar right now, okay? So, whenever Pikmin diverge from your group and start smacking things or plucking, that means that there is an area where they can get nectar. 
they will automatically go after anything that can give them nectar because their instinct is to latch onto it and slurp it up. One Pikmin will drink an entire thing of nectar before you even can comprehend what just happened. Also, darn it, I whistled them off the stick when I was trying to get them to go on the stick. The bread goblin hasn't... You guys be careful down there, I'm not wanting you to drown, you be careful. Any Pikmin that aren't red, aren't blues, will drown in water, so be careful. The bread goblin's coming back, quick boys, we gotta stop him! Men to arms, the bread goblin comes. I see him. Or do I? <laughs> Excellent work, gentlemen. You got it down safe and sound. Now take it back to that ship. We're gonna need it. Um, excuse me, Stanley, what are you doing? Stan Stanley. You know what? Fine, Stanley can stay with me. You and Derek need to get back in your group. Alright, you guys get back with your buddies, okay? Stay over there. The bread goblin comes. Soon. I think. So, the reason I'm so worried about the bread goblin is because he has a ship part. Making him yet another reason to dislike him. You see this random part that's out in the middle of nowhere? Watch what happens. It's moved. The bread goblin is on the hunt for anything he can take back to his nest. He is a vile villain and my wor and my arch nemesis. I must destroy him where he stands. The bread goblin will not win this day. I mean, he's won twice already, but like, come on, man, let me have this. The bread goblin approaches, I think. I feel him. He is near. He seems to be going around. That over there is his nest. He is slowly taking whatever he grabbed back to his nest. Now, I gotta wait for him to come to me because my blues cannot go over there because those are new, in are new enemies. Fiery blowhogs. Fiery blowhogs will blow fire from the ship. Because we got another ship part. The automatic gear! It has thin cracks running through it, and I tried to fill them with dirt. I hope it'll be alright. Eh. Whatever works, works, Olimar. I mean, we can't guarantee anything. If I get five more parts, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities once again. Anyway, enough of that. I saw the bread goblin. He's near. Where is that fiend? Coward a snake. He comes. I see him. On the horizon. The bread goblin approaches. I think. Bread goblin, you're making me look like an idiot. Just get your butt over here. Bread goblin. Look, man, I have a pellet out in the open. Don't you want it? Going in his nest at the moment. Man, the render distance. There you are. The bread Goblin makes his approach. I make a final stand. He is booking it. He must know there's something here. He's booking it, boys. He smells it. He wants it. You want my bread? You should come and get it. It is delicious. I am the bread man. My bread is delicious. I am not the bread goblin. You want my bread so badly? Come and get it, buddy. Hey, 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 not so fast, buddy. I'm not just gonna give it to ya. And the bread goblin has been hurt? Bread goblin, don't leave. 
Bread Goblin. Don't you want this? I am the Bread Goblin. Yeah, I know you do. Come here, you. It takes a total of two bonks to kill the Bread Goblin. There are other ways to do so, like bomb rocks, which is a lot harder than this method. So I'd recommend just bonking him on the head. It works so much better and does more damage. And there we go. Thank goodness my space float. This float is an absolute necessity for any pilot who lacks skill in swimming in space. Anyway, we have a total of how many right now? I don't think we have enough to carry it. Guys, we need more Pikmin. We gotta carry this thing. Carry that back to the onions. Oh, the bread bug will give us uh, Pikmin 2. Put that in. Yes, Pikmin 2, the best game. I don't know, I like 1 a little better. I haven't fully played through 2 yet. A lot of 1's problems have been fixed in 2, though. Because you can switch colors in that game. You have a total of 2 captains. And... There's no time limit. So you can just play through and have fun. Anyway, how many Pikmin do we have right now? We have 25 that we need to get for... Uh, we need to get 25 for this part. And I only have... Seventeen. All right, boys, you stay here. You're probably gonna latch back onto the part, but just stay, okay? I gotta find you more food. I'm gonna need as many Pikmin as possible to get this out of the water. And then once we do, the reds and yellows can help out. Ah, there we go, a color bonus, nice. All right, some of you come and pick up these, uh, these pellets. We're gonna need Every little Pikmin helps. Every little Pikmin counts. All right, guys, grab that. Nicely done, Derek. You're an excellent addition to the team, buddy. Right, let's see. We got some blues down here that were hanging out. We got those two reds that almost drowned. They were literally like an inch from drowning. Grab that yellow one, too. It's no color bonus, but it'll, it'll help out. We need every Pikmin on this part so we can get it out of the water. There are sure grubs over there, but I don't want to risk losing any of my blue Pikmin. And I could grab my reds and start attacking. This is a possibility. To arms, men! We gotta fight some sheer grubs. 16 of you, anyone? Sorry, sheer wigs. Sheer wigs are flying. Variants. Retreat! Retreat! That's why we don't fight sheer wigs. Sheer wigs, as soon as they get damaged, will take to the sky to avoid taking any more damage. This often results in Pikmin just dying to the other ones that are around once they take off. Anyway, we'll have a total of how many now? 20. Get to work, boys. The five of you need to find something to carry back. Otherwise, we're not going to have enough Pikmin to get us out of the water. We might have to do this tomorrow. So much to do, so little time. I guess we'll just have to do it later. We found some pellet poses over here. I guess we can get some pellets off of this. With the bread bug gone, all the pellets are mine now. Nothing is going to be abducted and taken to his base anymore. I was really hoping for a blue pellet there. Also, I don't think we're going to get any, pe uh, any more blues today. There's not enough time in the day. Yeah, not enough time. Um, go to bed, boys. Our progress was small, but we, we've made strides today. Guys, go to bed. We'll just have to hang out here for a little bit. I probably could have carried it back if I had 
Guys, go to bed. Quit trying to carry the part. Eight of you ain't gonna do it. Guys, you are so dumb. Who of you is still trying to carry this thing? You idiots. Just go to bed. Okay. Go to bed. Dimitri. Hello. Earth to Dimitri. I told you to go to bed. You better not. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, there's still all you over here. Alright, I gotta whistle the rest of my boys back. If we don't, they're gonna be lost to the void, and I don't want to lose them to the void. The void is bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, let's see. I got... Oh, 13 in the field? That's it? You 13 are all that's left. Well, um... We don't have to worry about the end of day sequence. Just, uh... Go to the next day. Sunset. Yep. Yes, I am impatient. I did not wait for six seconds. Because I'd like to finish this day. Go to bed! Excellent work out there, gentlemen. We found another part and finished up some stuff. Did we finish up stuff? No, not really. More work to be done tomorrow, gentlemen. See you next day. Ooh, you. We'll save you for tomorrow. Actually, no, I'm not going over there yet. Not now. Deep in the cave, I discovered that in the forest, I encountered blue Pikmin. These blue flowers have something re uh, these, bl these blue fellows have something resembling gills on their cheeks. And they appear to be amphibious, surviving in both water and on land. In land and on the water. The wonders of nature never cease to stun me, even in this alien world. Obviously, that means... And all Mars, curious by nature. Maybe it's a good thing we crashed here. No, it's not a good thing. I broke my ship. So I'll see you guys in the next one. If you liked it, please be sure to mash that like button, share, share, support, and ring the bell to be notified when I post the next one. And as always, subscribe today to join the gang, and I will see you nuggets in the next one. Stay crispy and keep it digital.